Okay, everyone. So in this next lesson, we will learn how to use GitHub pages so that we can publish on the web our project here. And you can view your project on different devices as long as you have internet. This will be very useful, especially if you're going to be using this as part of your portfolio. You can go and include this in your CV. You can put the link in your PDF file CV. I usually convert my Word file CV to a PDF and through the PDF that I submit online to a prospect employer, I have a link there to the projects that I have built so that they can check out the portfolio or the projects that I have so far built. So this will be published on the web. It's like a website. You just need to get the URL of the GitHub pages that we will be building or we will be publishing right now. So let's go on to how we can do this. So let me go to this setting tab here in GitHub and then try to see here we have the repository name. You can rename it any name that you might want to use. Let's say I would want to go and rename it Rod Program Dev Portfolio 2, right? But I'll stick with RBSL because it's actually the initial of my name, Rodrigo Bunzer Santos Lopez. And then I just need to go down here to a section here that contains the GitHub pages. And it says here, it is designed to host your personal organization or project pages from a GitHub repository. So what we just need to do here is to go and click on the source here. And it says here, GitHub pages is currently disabled. Select a source below to enable GitHub pages for this repository. So that's what we're going to do here. And I will be using the main branch and save it. And now, if we go back down here, you would see that we now have our link here. Just give it a moment, everyone, because sometimes this will not be working as soon as the, the pages have been created. So let's go and try again and click on the link here or open in a new tab. And there we go. We now have our site publish. Let me just go back here. We now have our site here published on the web and you would see that you can go and view this on the internet in your phone, in your mobile phones, in another computer, as long as you have internet connection. You will just need to know this link here that we have here so that you can go and access your GitHub pages. So, so far, this is our site. It's not yet responsive. As you can see here, we haven't done any responsive uh, layout yet. So we'll, we can try to work on that. And as we go along with working on the responsiveness of the site and the other sections, we will also be implementing how we can push the changes that we have done in our GitHub repository here. So that will be all for this lesson about GitHub pages. Now we have our first site published on the web and congratulations, we now have our first site published on the web and this can be viewed by your friends. And the good thing about GitHub pages is that it is for free and we didn't have to subscribe to a hosting company with a hosting company for us to be able to publish this on the web. So in the next lessons, we will try to improve this. We will be including the text heading here and the other sections as we go along with our lessons. In this section, we will be able to complete a site that will be published on the web that you can use for your portfolio. Okay, so that will be all for now. And thank you and see you on our next lessons.